Brentford's Ollie Watkins admitted to diving, claims Barnett boss Aaron Curry. Brentford's Ollie Watkins apologized to a Barnett player for diving after he won a penalty in Monday night's 3-3 FA Cup tie, according to home boss Aaron Curry. Non-league Barnett came from behind twice to secure a replay against their championship opponents following a thrilling fourth-round encounter at the Hive. Dan Sparks was the hero for Barnett when his brilliant free kick secured a 3-3 draw, but the hosts were unfortunate to concede a penalty just minutes after Shagko Ulthurst's quick-fire second-half brace had given them a 2-1 lead. Watkins, who had earlier scored the game's opener, fell under pressure from David Tudenda in the Barnett box, but TV replays suggested there was no contact. Neil Moipe converted from the spot. It was a wonderful dive said Curry. What nailed it for me is that the boy, Watkins, apologized to our fullback once they had scored and were running back to the halfway line. That tells me everything I need to know. Brentford manager Thomas Frank issued a staunch defense of Watkins. He is one of the most honest players I know, and he wouldn't dive on purpose, said Frank. If things go against them, they talk about diving, but for me he is not a diver. The second half controversy was one of a series of flashpoints in a compelling tie. After Brentford hit a post twice in the opening period, Watkins scored five minutes before the interval. Koul Thurst then scored two goals in 192 second half seconds to put Barnett ahead. The spot kick enabled Brentford to get back into the tie and Sergi Canos then looked to have put the game out of reach when he gave the visitors the lead with a fine breakaway goal. But Sparks somehow managed to get his free kick up and over the wall and into the back of the net with 15 minutes remaining. It was a great moment, and a wonderful free kick at any level, added Curry, following his first permanent game in charge of the non-league outfit. I know Dan has got that in his left foot. He probably hasn't shown it as often as he would have liked but I knew what he was capable of. He is a dead ball specialist and I am pleased he chose tonight to put one into the top corner. Barnet, the lowest-ranked team left in the competition, will travel to Griffin Park next week with a trip to Swansea awaiting them in the fifth round if they can provide another upset. Predict six correct scores for your chance to win £250,000.